It is definitely time to break out the winter coats, or maybe you're planning on buying a new one. So what's hot this season and the best way to shop for the right one? Joining me now is fashion expert and host of the podcast, What You Wearing, Mark <laughs> Allen Harmon. Good morning. You have lots of tips for us, and I say it like that because I know on the podcast, what do you say? You say well, what you wearing? There we go. There we it's go. very much, and I'm so, I, I live in L.A., so yeah. I love to come to New York, and it gets cold, and you get to buy coats and have coat cloth. We buy coats in L.A. just to look at. We don't actually wear them. <laughs> But here you get to buy them, wear them, and just it's such an opportunity for a fashion statement every day. And you're saying that, um, you know, sometimes we're kind of neutral and things like that, but go with color. Color is this. Absolutely. Now, it depends on the price point. Mm -hmm. If you're going to mm -hmm. buy a big investment piece, go neutral and something that you can mm -hmm. have for 10 years. But if you're going to buy some fast fashion or you're going to mm -hmm. buy something that's a little bit more lower price point, go for a big color. Go for, like, wonderful. Look how great you are in pink, Cindy, right? Thank you could do you. a big pink puffer and have some fun with that. <laughs> and you have gorgeous colors. Coats here. We've got this orange and yeah. So blue. this is the first thing is to really choose color. Mm -hmm. I love color. So you can see these are a couple pieces. So on the right we have a per. Uh, it's a purple trench from Cost. Mm -hmm. Now Cost is luxury H and M. Yes. So it's still H and M pricing, a little bit more than H and M, but beautiful fabrics, beautiful fabrication, and then an actual H and M orange coat. So if you're going to go in and you're going to find yourself that warm coat, getting that big pop of color is amazing. Now. Imagine if you have a purple coat mm -hmm. and it's long, it covers most of your look anyway. So you don't need to worry about your coat always matching your look. Right. It really, your coat it just needs to match you. There it needs to match your personality. You need to feel great <laughs> in it. And you're going to be awesome in whatever color you get. But choose a color. Now, for people who actually go shopping at a brick and mortar store, yes. you're saying when you are going for the coat, make sure you touch it. Yeah, I I shop basically by Braille. Mm -hmm. So when I walk through a store, I'm touching everything. Mm -hmm. I want to know what the mm -hmm. fabric feels like because that's going to tell you how it's going to feel in your body. You want a coat that when it's cold, like 50 degrees, mm -hmm. since I'm from mm -hmm. LA, but we think that's cold. But like when it's really dropping and it's cold, it's a coat that you want to put on and it feels really good on. It's important to try things on. Now, there's a lot of people that do reference it. Now, Maxmar, for example, is like the epitome the coat, mm -hmm. right? They're that company that designs all of those coats that are then trickled down into all sorts of different places because they're the main people doing the big mm -hmm. thick coats. Now, if you want to go and buy a coat like that, that's camel hair. It's flat, it's mm -hmm. beautiful. But then you can also buy another option. Like again, there's an H and M. You can see it's a similar silhouette. But where do you think the inf the inspiration for that coat right. came from? It's kind of like that Devil Wears Prada. Mm -hmm. Remember where they talked about this sweater and how that color from that sweater came from four years ago? Everything trickles down. And so if you're going to be buying uh, at a high level like Max Mara, you can get right now or you can get soon after at a lower price point. All right. Even though we've been talking about, you know, go for pops of color, you say brown is also. Brown is also your friend. Yeah. For a lot of people, brown is a color. <laughs> <laughs> I know many New Yorkers who are like, I only wear black. Yes, black, black, yes. black, 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 black. I'm like, oh, please, <laughs> not just black. So brown is great. There's camels, there's tobacco, there's tan, mm -hmm. there's beige. Pick a color that's great for you. Now, you can see this gentleman's coat. This is also a cost. It's a polar fleece, like a chunky polar mm -hmm. fleece, and it has a very modern pocket. You're going to also notice a lot of trends for this season are big pockets, um, at different color combinations together. So you have a camel there and that cost one for mm -hmm. him, as well as white. And then that tobacco, that tobacco, you can see tobacco over camel on that Max Mara cashmere. Very nice. Now, you were saying try it for real. What does that mean? Okay, try it for real. So this is really, really important. If you're going to wear your coat to work and you wear a suit to work, mm -hmm. you need to try the coat on with your suit jacket. Okay. If you're going to wear your coat with a big, thick sweater in January in New York, go shopping with go a big, shopping with a big yeah. thick sweater so because you've got to have a realistic right. sense of what it's going to be. Because you have to remember that a thick sweater or a suit jacket takes up a lot more space than you think, like a whole size up. Now, you're saying puffers are still in. Puffers are still in forever and always. The Gap does a bunch of great puffers. There's puffers at every price point. Mm -hmm. Puffers at every puff price point. <laughs> <laughs> puff perfect is what I think I call this segment. But really, you can see green. It's mm -hmm. really fabulous, fun from the Gap. And then they've taken puffers and put them into ones with belts, ones with different styles. Some have hoods, some are long, some are short, some are motorcycle style. Mm -hmm. Lots of different ways to do a puffer and to really... Um, be warm. It's always been a modern look, too. It's right. a little younger. I feel like a puffer is a little bit of a younger way to go, but it's also very warm. And a lot of them now come water repellent and super um, warm and cozy. And how about layering? Let's say you're not going to get a new coat, so something you can change. With oh, well, what I've done. <laughs> 
Like, for example, I'm wearing blue and green, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. And this is a little etro of something. Um, <laughs> thank you, etro. And this, for example, a scarf like this, so it ties in my green, ties in my blue, mm -hmm. and then you can go some color. So this has just got a lot of print. Now, obviously, etro is a print company that, mm -hmm. I say obviously, but etro mm -hmm. is an Italian mm -hmm. print company. So they really do beautiful, luxurious fabrics. But all over, you can find one of my favorite scarves is mm -hmm. from H&M. It was $9, red with a blue stripe. So don't worry about spending a million dollars. Right. Right. Just find yourself in a good coat. All right, Alan, thank you so much for being You're here. So, thanks for having me. You're so fun.